Hey guys, this is Seb Sanford. Welcome back to another exciting edition of Throwback Thursday. And today, it is Throwback Thursday. A little segment on my YouTube channel where I go back to some of my favorite moments on my YouTube channel. Uh, as you saw in my last Throwback Thursday video, I showed you some of my favorite highlights from meeting the Peanuts characters like Charlie Brown and Snoopy at Canada's Wonderland. But this week, it's all about the Bath Children's Literature Festival. And as this year's Bath Kids Lit Festival is cancelled due to the coronavirus pandemic. I thought maybe I'd like to go back in time to some of my favorite moments from that festival, meeting some of my favorite authors and celebrities uh, from around the country in Great Britain. Take for example, Dermot O'Leary and his Toto the Ninja Cat book. He's also the host of the X Factor in the UK, but this year's X Factor, it's cancelled this year, again because of COVID. And I also managed to see David Walliams at the Forum, um, talking about his children's books inspired by the works of the late Walt Dahl. And I also managed to meet Harry Hill as well. Um, you know how many times I saw Harry Hill in Bath? Three times. Anyways, let's go back in time to some of my favorite moments from the Bath Children's Literature Festivals. And yeah, enjoy today's Throwback Thursday video. Well, I think, um, I think first book I really, really loved. I, I was all the kind of the, the Little with Mother stuff, and I remember Brer Rabbit and things like that, and th but that was largely read to me. So the first book I picked up to read, um, probably at about four or five, maybe five or six, was uh, Raymond Greek's Father Christmas, mm -hmm. uh, which was an illustrated book, which I don't, yeah, it's just wonderful. Nice. And everyone talks about the snowman, the snowman's wonderful, but I love this kind of notion of this big old grumpy <laughs> Father Christmas. And it was blooming Christmas all the time, wasn't it? That's right, yeah. <laughs> Which is that was your first one because mine was Fungus and Obi-Man, which is also <laughs> really neat. Yeah. But I think I was more into snot and slime and drunk yeah. <laughs> yeah. jokes. You know, so and, then, and, then, and then one of those old Roald Dahl. Of course. Any Roald Dahl? I'm sure. Yeah, of course. Favourite Roald Dahl book? Shout it out. Matilda. Um, I should have asked you what was out. Boys and girls, Please give a warm welcome to David Williams. Lower your expectations. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for coming out to see me um, on this beautiful. Bath morning. It's great. First of all, bath or bath? <laughs> bath. Or bath. Where are we going with this? Ba well, that was bath, wasn't it? <laughs> well, I think the uh, the people up here um, are saying bath. But, um, the people down here who paid that little bit more <laughs> are saying bath. So, uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm going to stick with the with the real people. Um, <laughs> <laughs> shall, shall, shall I go? I was going to see who it was. Oh, well, I bet it was my nosy neighbour, Mr. Parker. He's a retired major, and now he runs the local neighbourhood watch group. What's neighbourhood watch? Oh, it's a group of local people who keep an eye out for burglars. But Mr. Parker just uses it as an excuse to spy on everyone. The nosy old git. Is he suspicious about you? Oh, he's suspicious about everyone. The man is a menace. Ben went over to the window and peered out. He couldn't see anyone. Bring Ben's heart and he missed a beat. It was only the doorbell, but if they let Mr. Parker inside, he would see all the evidence the police would need to send Ben and his granny straight to prison. Don't answer it, said Ben, as he ran to the middle of the room and started stuffing all the jewels back in the tin as quickly as he could. What do you mean, don't answer it? He knows I'm at home. He just saw us through the window. You answer the door and I will hide the jewels. Me? Yes, you. Hurry. Bring. This ring was more insistent. Mr. Parker had left his finger on the buzzer for even longer. Ben took a deep breath and walked calmly through the hall to the front door. He opened it. Y -y 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 yes c -c -c can I help you? Mr. Parker put his foot inside the bungalow so the front door couldn't be closed on him. Who are you? 
he barked nasally. He had a very big nose, which made him seem even nosier than he was, and he already seemed extremely nosy. Because he had a big nose, he also had a very nasal voice, which made everything he said, however serious, seem a little bit absurd. But his eyes shone red like a demon. I'm, um, I'm, um, I'm, I'm, I'm Granny's friend, spluttered Ben. Friend, snarled Mr. Parker, pushing open the front door. He was stronger than Ben and soon forced his way inside. Why are you lying to me? I'm not lying, cried Ben. They reached the living room door. You can't go in there, yelled Ben, thinking of the jewels still scattered all over the carpet. Why not? Um, um, because Granny is doing her naked yoga. <laughs> Sadly, the nosy neighbour was not convinced. Naked yoga, a likely story. I need to talk to your grandmother right away. Now get out of my way, you nasty little worm of a boy, he said <laughs> as he shoved the boy aside and opened the living room door. Granny must have heard Ben through the door because when Mr. Parker burst into the room, she was standing in her bra and knickers in tree pants. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Parker, do you mind? said Granny in mock horror that he had seen her in a state of undress. Tommy Cooper, can you remember any of Tommy's jokes? Uh, and can you remember any of his jokes? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, a man goes into the doctor's uh, and the doctor says, I want you to stand by the window and stick your tongue out. He says, <laughs> We haven't done the punchline yet. <laughs> he says, I want you to stand by the window and stick your tongue out. He says, Why is that, doctor? He said, I don't know the people who live opposite. <laughs> come on, come on. Uh, who's that? Next one. Who's that? Bruce Forsyth, nice to see you, to see you. Nice. He lives on to his catchphrase. Next one. Those two, do you know who those? It's two, fine, very good, okay. What? And Milton Jones, very good. He, what? Two, fine, and, and, and Milton Jones. And you can tell we're comedians because we've all got the same eyes. <laughs> please like me, please like me. Um, do you know a, a, a Tim Vine joke, anyone? Was here. Uh, I, I remember, yeah. I have one thing to say. Yeah. Yeah. Knock, knock. Who's there? Owens. Orange. Orange you. Owens, you glad I'm back? <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Okay, guys, that's the end of today's Throwback Thursday video. Thank you so much for watching with me. If you like what you just seen, if you want to see me react to tra movie trailers for upcoming movies, and if you want to see me doing some vlogging and probably even more Throwback Thursday videos like this one, be sure to like the video, or subscribe to the channel right now, and hit the notifications. And you can follow me on my socials, links in the description. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.